Midwest whitetail hunting, where some of the biggest bucks in the country live. Illinois, Iowa, Ohio. This week on Savage Outdoors, we're headed to Illinois, one of the best whitetail properties in the country, the Grigsby Farm. Leaves are starting to change. The fall's definitely here. It's time for those big bucks to start spending some time on their feet, starting to hit scrapes, check for the first hot doe of the season. Been working hard all year, running trail cams, getting stand set, scouting, glassing, trying to locate those big bucks for that one opportunity of the fall to kill one of those giant Midwest whitetails. There's nothing like this time of year and when you're in the woods where big bucks live and you finally get to see one, it can be exciting. This is what all whitetail hunters truly live for, an opportunity at a mature, giant Midwest whitetail. Planting food plots, scouting, running cameras, hanging stands. All of these things come together for that fall time of the year. When it happens, it's magical. All of us whitetail hunters, we dream about it. We eat, sleep, can't stop thinking about it. Just a chance at one of those giant whitetail bucks. Sure, there's times when you get frustrated it doesn't happen. Things just don't come together, but that's whitetail hunting. But we do it and we spend so much time in the woods each fall just for that one chance. So much hard work goes into hunting this time of year, but I wouldn't miss it for the world. nature is savage and untamed, uninhabitable, and unwelcoming place is savage. A relentless, fierce, wild person is savage. Savage. The Savage Outdoors is brought to you by Savage Arms, the definition of accuracy, and Field and Stream, where traditions begin. When we're on trips, traveling all over the country, North America really, doing hunts here on Savage Outdoors, there's one thing that is very important and we always have in our bag or our pack when we're traveling. That's our Otis cleaning kits, so we can keep our guns looking good and shooting good no matter where we're at or what hunt we're on. These kits are small, don't take up hardly any room, and every kit has everything you could possibly need to keep your gun shooting like you want it. Otis Technologies. Let's get back to Savage Outdoors. Every hunter has experienced this. Getting your boots wet, you're out on some big trip, you come in and you've got to go back out pretty quick and you got to put wet boots back on. It's miserable, especially when it's cold and there's no reason for it. Check out Pete's shoe dryers. Every day when we come in, we throw our boots on, even if we haven't got them wet, because it makes your boots last longer. It dries up any sweat, keeps the odor out of your boots, and it just makes them last longer. Check out Pete's shoe dryers. Let's get back to Savage Outdoors. The Savage Outdoors is brought to you by Field and Stream, where traditions begin. Bad boy buggies. Bushnell Optics. Hunter Safety System. Spy Point and most innovative trail and action cameras. True Glow. 
Whack'em Broadheads, Conquest Sense, Realtree, Family, Friends, and the Outdoors, Elite Archery, the world's most shootable bow, Fusion Ammunition, Tough, Accurate, Lethal, 10-Point Crossbows, Thermocell, Nature Blinds, Otis Technologies, Pete Shoe Dryer, and Raptor Razor, the ultimate field dressing knives. All right, Savage Outdoors, Illinois Grigsby Farm. Uh, week two of our series of hunting giant Midwest whitetails, uh, and we're on them. This place has got them. We've been running spy point cameras all year. Uh, last week was our first week of hunting. Killed a great buck. Brad Davis, one of the guys with Real Tree, uh, was able to score on a great deer, and we're excited to get week two kicked off. Uh, make sure to stay tuned with us, though. There's some great whitetail hunting coming to you from Illinois at the Grigsby Farm. It's a little bit colder this morning. We've switched stands again. I'm like breaking all my rules and then bouncing around in different spots, but trying to play this wind and get on some of these bucks. The neat thing about this property is there's big bucks everywhere. So there's so many places to hunt and set up. Kind of getting in this same area where Randy's been seeing all those bucks because he's been seeing some good ones. Hopefully, somebody's going to get a shot this morning. I'm hoping for sure somebody's going to get a shot. Getting closer. The Elite Shootability Challenge. Go take it. Go to your local pro shop. Check out what Elite has out there today. The new Synergy, the Energy 35, the Energy 32. These bows are the smoothest drawn, best shooting bows I've ever shot, and that's why I made the switch. Take the Elite Shootability Challenge. Let's get back to Savage Outdoors. Hey, I tell you what, on Savage Outdoors, after a long day of hunting and we got all the guys in camp, big crew here, we're hungry. We come in from a hunt and we don't want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen preparing a big meal or after a big meal having to clean it up. And that's why we love our can cooker. You can cook anything in 45 minutes and it's some of the best food I've ever eaten. Check out a can cooker. I promise you one thing, you'll love the food that comes out of it. Let's get back to Savage Outdoors.
All right, Uncle Randy's back in the stand, back to Magic Valley. He is, if you saw on week one, um, this is his spot. He's deemed it the best spot on the property. And after that first sit, it's gonna be hard to argue with him if he sees that many bucks every time he goes and sits in the stand. Uh, he's been on what he calls the DL list because we were short a cameraman, so he wasn't able to hunt for a couple of days. Uh, he's in the stand. He's in the right stand. There's plenty of deer around. Let's get in the stand with Randy. Two days ago, I got put on the injured reserve list. Uh, 3.30 this morning, I got cleared to hunt by the dock. Mike signed off on it, and I'm back in the tree. Expectations are very high today. But there's a buck right there. It's a high tight rack, eight point right there. It's not more than 25 yards gone. He's coming around. Man, uh, Randy is on the bucks again, still seeing a lot of deer every time he sits in the Magic Valley stand. Um, bad weather blowing in a little bit, kind of cutting his hunt short. Uh, Jamie is in camp. The weather's broke. Uh, everywhere Jamie's gone this year, pretty much big bucks have jumped out in front of his arrows. <laughs> he is on fire. It's the season of his life. I'm sure, without a doubt, when he gets in the tree, there'll probably be a big buck, you know, first five minutes. Let's get in the stand with Jamie. We're back in the stand with Bucks are checking the does, so I want to be where the does are. We got Evercon, we got VS1, we got everything spread all over the trees. We got a stink stick up with the VS1 in it, so we got our bases covered now. It's a sit weight game. Hopefully, a hot doe will come to the field. Some big bucket checker. Do this whack them time. Hey, welcome back to Savage Outdoors. I've got a question for you. Why would you shoot a mechanical broadhead if you could have a fixed blade cut on impact head that flies as good or better than any mechanical in the industry today? Why come broadheads? The Savage Outdoors is brought to you by Wild Game Innovations Buck Commander Hex Feeder. Sets up quick and brings deer in fast. Evolved Harvest Throw and Grow Extreme Oats. Grow more groceries per acre. Campbell Cameras, huge inventory reduction sales going on now. Crossbreed holsters, carry conceal, carry comfortably. Carry the cross. Cooler Buck, 
portable walk-in cooler system. You know, here on Savage Outdoors, we hunt all over the country. We've got multiple properties that we hunt. I'm an outfitter as well, and I've got over 200 trail cams in the field that I'm using throughout the whole season. I do not have time for cameras not to work or cameras to fail me. When I get to a location, I've got to know where the bucks are. I've got to be able to get on them and up my odds at an opportunity at a good deer. With my clients and my outfitting businesses, same thing. When my guides go run the cameras, they've got to be working. And that's why we use Spy Point cameras. These cameras are awesome. They never let us down. We get up to 15,000 pictures on a set of batteries. If you want a great trail cam, check out Spy Point cameras. Stay with him. She's going on. Come on, Mary, give me a shot. I hate the reason I got some big back for him in the woods. Well, like I said, uh, Jamie's having the season of his life. He gets in the tree. One of the bucks on the hit list walks out and he makes an incredible shot of 65 yards, smoke city. And that's why we shoot those whack and broadheads off those elite bows. You get that smooth shot, uh, do a ton of practice and those broadheads fly perfect. And uh, Jamie was totally confident with the shot and he took it and nailed him. Uh, congrats on a great buck. Do we, do, that? do we have the deer or do we have blood? We have blood. And deer. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. That's uh, a nice deer. deer. What a deer. Thank you. Hey, Thank that's me. the deer I was talking about. He, he broke the brows off. He was on the bladed brows that were split. What's that? He's got something coming out of the front. You get this vine out of your way. You first one to touch it. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Heck, got all yeah, this buddy. gnarly stuff up here at the top. Yeah. I didn't a, see any of that. Welcome to the Grigsby. Yeah, baby. That's your first deer here, isn't it? Yeah, first deer here. James having a season of seasons, man. That's buck number three with the boat. Randy and I are still uh, waiting to go. Yeah, 60 yards. It's not, it's not true. I shot a dove. <laughs> Sorry. I'm you got a dove? In South Dakota. There you go. Still. Well, not bad for uh, 60 yards. No, that was a heck of a shot. No, I, when you said that, I was I was actually like, uh-oh. We're in trouble? Well, that's what I told him. He, I said, when he come up, I, when I come up to him, he goes, I shot it at 60 yards. I said, okay, did you say six or, or six? 60? <laughs> I said, now that's a man, folks. Yeah, it was. <laughs> and we watched the footage. And you hit him dead. I mean, your yardage, that was 60 yards if that's the pin you put on him. That's what I put on him. He that's trued a beautiful up. beautiful buck. Nice long times, been long G3s. Like I say, his brows were split and they were bladed. You can see how thick that was. Yep. And he's got all that trash at the base. Beautiful buck. We're here at the Grigsby and you finally drew some blood for us, so we broke the ice here. And uh, we started off our Illinois bow season uh, right in the middle of the rut, November the 5th. Randy and I still got tags. Vaughn and Chris still got tags. It's been a heck of a week of hunting, though. We've uh, yes. it's just been getting better every day, every day, every day. Exactly. It's, it's been an experience, but boys, were they? Well, good. And, Glad uh, I could be with you. Yes, 60 sir. 60 yards shot. We ran probably 60 yards. Whack them. What's the, what's the slogan? <laughs> Whack them and stack them. Right there it is, baby. Nice Look. big old hole. Look at that head on them. I never did see the air. Need to roll them over see if we find the exit. It's okay, I'll buy you a new one. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, guys. Thank you. Week two here at the Grigsby Farm, and like I've said before, uh, the Grigsby Farm is one of the best whitetail properties in the country, and I'm excited to have the opportunity to hunt here. We've got a ton of great hunting still to do here this season. Make sure to stay tuned with Savage Outdoors. This is part of our series, hunting giant Midwest whitetails in Illinois on the famous Grigsby Farm. Thanks for watching Savage Outdoors. We'll see you next week. This segment of Savage Outdoors is brought to you by Evolved Harvest Premium Forage Seed. This is not your row crop seed bought at a co-op. This forage seed doesn't die once it's nipped. Evolved Harvest continues to grow all season long, producing more groceries per acre and ultimately more deer on your land to hunt. Hey, I wanna take a quick second uh, and talk to you about another one of the great feeds that Wild Game Innovations come out with, the Bucker Up. Uh, this is the ripened apple. Uh, basically what this is is an apple trail mix. Uh, it's a powder attractant. With this product, you put it out, 
uh, I put it right here just a couple feet in front of my camera. You know, and all the deer passing by are gonna come by and try this. I mean, typically, uh, if I feed the same feed over and over in the same area, once they try it and they like it, they're gonna keep coming back to it. Uh, and we use it during the season and after the season to see what bucks made it through the season. Uh, Bucker up, ripen apple from Wild Game Innovations. Check it out, try it, it works. The Savage Outdoors is brought to you by Savage Arms, the definition of accuracy. Field and Stream, where traditions begin. Bad Boy Buggies. Bushnell Optics. Hunter Safety System. Spy Point and most innovative trail and action cameras. True Glow. 10 Point Crossbows. Conquest Sense. Wacom Broadheads. Elite Archery. The world's most shootable bow. Can Cooker. Field and Stream. Fusion Ammunition. Tough, accurate, lethal. Thermocell. Nature Blinds. Peach Shoe Dryer. And Raptor Razor. The ultimate field dressing knives. <laughs>